on today's channel i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a back to school supply cake <music> Welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me Justine where all I want to do is inspire you on today's channel I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a back-to-school supply cake for your teachers so if you have kids or if you're a teacher or if I don't know what else your friends are teachers like you know my friends who watch this I'm a teacher yeah this would be a great idea to give me. <laughs> this is a great way to give an appreciation gift for the teachers, as well as kill two birds with one stone, especially if your child or someone you know needs school supplies. In Orlando, we're going back to school next week, so I figured this is the perfect time to show a way of how to give the supplies to your kids' teachers. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right up there and the bell to get notified on all the decor design and DIY projects I do here on my channel if you would like to see how I made this back to school supply cake please keep watching So the first thing you are going to do is grab your base and your big rubber band, ginormous, and you're going to add in your crayons to your base layer. The reason why I chose crayons is because if you follow my Pinterest board, which the link is in the description below, I chose a cake that had similar items and I love the way this one looks, so I chose to do the crayons first. So we're going to work on our middle tier, I can't even remember, and also another big ginormous rubber band. Wrap it around and then you're going to add in your glue bottles. Make sure you get the glue bottles because they will fit exactly on the tier. Now these tiers are going to move, you can obviously glue them down, I didn't because I'm going to use them. And of course, we are going to add our top tier with our ginormous rubber band, wrap it around that. And then this layer tier will have um, the highlighters that I chose to use. Now, if you're OCD like me, the pattern that I did decide to use was yellow, orange, green, blue, yellow, pink, purple. Now, if you're not OCD, just put them on in rainbow color. So we're going to add in our wet wipes in the middle along with our hand sanitizer. Since my wet wipe was small, I had to eventually put a crayon box underneath. If you have that problem, just use anything that you have extra so that way you can see it. Next, we are going to add in our ribbon. Now I got this cute adorable ribbon in Michaels with a 40% coupon. And yes, they still have it. Um, what you guys are gonna do is measure out each tier and then hot glue it. Again, you can use your glue spots. I just have hot glue, it's just easier for me. Thank you. 
now i decided that it looked so plain especially since i didn't spray paint the boxes so i decided to use the lays that i had from my previous project the baby shower cake which i will link down below check it out so that way it added a little frosting and it made it look so cute And the last thing we are going to put is our safety scissors. And this just adds a little pizzazz on it. And ta-da, we are finished. Comment below if you are going to do something similar for your kids' teachers. She or she will appreciate it. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with this. I think it's the best investment. I might do something with back to school hacks. I'm trying to get that video out soon. Are you a nerd like me who loves school supplies? I can't help it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Comment below if this is something you're going to do. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Think to yourself like, why the heck did she record in her car? I'm letting you know right now. I'm very blessed. I won't ever complain about that, but I have yet to be alone. <laughs> School's about to start and I'm just like, so this is the only downtime and alone time that I have. So I figured let me just record here.